So now we've created our statue power up class, and it's almost time to move on and re examine the collection game info class that we started at the beginning of this project. You can see here that it's still configured as a Hello World application. Now, before we move on and begin to add detail to this class, I just want to switch back to our statue power up file and show you something. Now, right now, when we collect a power up, it switches to the deactivated mode using the go to state statement. And when in deactivated mode, the power up simply stops spinning. That works absolutely fine as we have seen, but some people may prefer the statue to completely disappear from the level. They may prefer it to be removed from the level rather than simply to stop spinning. If that is the behavior that you want, then you can remove this go to state statement and replace it instead with a destroy statement. You can call the function destroy, which is a member of the actor object, and it will delete the actor from the level and completely remove it. So if you want to remove your power up from the level, you can call destroy instead of go to state, and that will handle your behavior that you need. I'm going to remove the destroy statement because I'm happy leaving it with the go to state functionality. But if you want to use the other method, now you know how to do both. So I'm going to switch back to the game info class, and we're going to get started at really customizing this class. First, I'm going to remove the tick event because I no longer want it to be a Hello World application. And we're going to be looking now at how to code the main logic for our game. So to code the main logic for our game, I'm going to be adding three unique variables. Now together, these variables are critical variables. We're going to have one variable, which is going to be var int statue counter. This is going to be the number of statues that the player has collected throughout the game. We're going to have a second variable, var int statue limit which is going to be the number of statue power-ups that the player needs to collect in order to complete and win the game. And then the third variable is going to be var bool game one. This variable will begin as false to indicate that the game has not been completed, that the statue counter does not exceed statue limit. And then it's going to be true when the game has been won to say, hey, the player has completed the game. So I'm going to press Control S to save these values. Now, of course, these properties here are not yet set. They are going to be set throughout the game. So we're going to be dealing with handling that functionality 